Wait, what? Okay, okay, fine. I I now take away everything good I said about this damn movie. Holy shit. I'm just kidding. Blah. episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, Rainbows from Hell. Episode number eight, episode number eight, starting off week number two of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So last night's episode where I discuss the remake of Friday the 13th and tell you about how actually it's a decent movie and I quite enjoyed it and that it really should be a remake of Friday the 13th Part 2 but you know hey what you gonna do what you can do anyways besides you know just bitch and moan about stuff that doesn't even make any difference and to all those purists out there just remember like just because a remake happens or a reboot it doesn't do anything to the original in fact, it'll just probably expose people to the original that may never have known it existed or maybe never had any, like, inklings of checking it out. And so, you know, bad hype is still hype. And honestly, I just, I don't, I don't see why everyone gets their panties in a bunch about remakes and reboots. I mean, sure, you want to see original ideas and then you end up with <laughs> some garbage that's out there. Because, hey, it's an original idea. It's not a good original idea, but whatever. Anyways, I, you know, I just want to be entertained. And speaking of which, tonight's episode, getting, getting all that shit aside, I thought it's time to get into the cheese factory once again and get a, a little, a little, little movie that Maybe not, this is not widely known by a lot of people. And a movie that <laughs> is described as a ripoff of Terminator, the original Terminator. And I have to agree, it is really a kind of a ripoff of Terminator. And that is the movie that even has Terminator in the name, Lady Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Where do I start with this movie? Oh, my God. This movie. Holy shit. This fucking movie. Oh, my God. I just... Wow. I'm still... It's still, like... It's still with me. <laughs> this movie haunts you. <laughs> it is so... It is... I mean, I, I've been thinking about this movie for a bit. And how, how, how do I describe it? It's, it's, it's a freaking dumpster fire, man. It's a dumpster fire. It's, it's a fire. You, it's destroying something and it is kind of dangerous and could get out of control. But yet you still, you're still watching it because you're, you're, you're fascinated by the flames and the destruction. And yes, it's relatively contained to that dumpster. And you know that, that the, fire department's going to show up and put it out and that's probably for the best but yet when when it does arrive you feel a little bit sad because you just you're just so enthralled by the 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 beautiful destruction that's happening in front of you like it's this movie is a beautiful disaster it is it is horrifically bad it is it's it's so epically bad that it creates a hole in the universe and takes the universe and turns it inside out so that this movie is actually enjoyable cuz it is oh my god this movie first of all i think it's i think it's an indian movie is in you know india <laughs> and it starts off 
with this uh, South South Sea Queen or whatever. And she's just, you know, she's having sex with some dude, and he uh, all of a sudden he gets all bloody and died, I guess. And she complains that no one's around that can satisfy her. And then this guy shows up and basically, you know, fucks her nice and takes a friggin' uh, snake out of her pussy. <laughs> yes, yes, right. He, he, he de snakes her vagina. And then it turns into a dagger, and. She gets all pissed off. It's like, no, you sealed my powers. Give it back. And he's all like, they're my wife now. <laughs> and she's like, I curse you in a hundred years. I will kill your offspring. <sighs> and it's like, what the hell's going on? What, what the hell is this? What the? I don't know. What's this got to do with Terminator? So... Anyways, her brilliant plan to get revenge in a hundred years hinges on the fact that a an anthropologist who's studying for her 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 thesis about the myth of the South Sea Queen gets a boat, goes into the part of the the sea where supposedly this sunken civilization is goes scuba diving while the sea swallows the the ship whole and then she's transported magically to a bed without all the scuba equipment where she's tied up spread eagle and a snake populates her vagina and you're still like going what like, what is going on in this movie and then you're like how do you like literally if she didn't have a thesis for the South China Queen or South South China because I keep thinking of the South China Sea, the South Sea Queen. Her her revenge would never happen. <laughs> but okay, so okay, like, so so now she's possessed and it's the reincarnation of, of of the queen and she comes out of the water butt naked and <laughs> comes across these two uh, I guess you would say punks. Who are just sitting by a car, you know, be, doing punk shit while one's like pissing, and it's so bad. You, you, you literally, you, you know, there's like a pump and a hose just streaming out water, but he's like, I'm pissing, because you know, no, no human being can piss with that amount of power for that long. No, no way. Anyways, so she comes up, and that's when it dawns on you. This is the fucking scene from Terminator where Arnold Schwarzenegger is naked and he, he just appeared in uh, downtown LA and Bill Paxton and his group of uh, punks get murdered by him and he steals their clothes. Basically, that's what she does. She's the emotionless ter lady Terminator and she kills them by having sex with them. All of a sudden I start to think if, if, if this movie keeps going on like this, this movie's all of a sudden it becomes like one of those bad porno remakes, like Saving Ryan's Privates or, you know, uh, Schlong Wars, something like that. I, I, I kind of made that last one up. At least I hope I did. Uh, trademark. Trademark. Anyways, so <laughs> kills them, steals, steals, their, steals their clothes, then goes to like this hotel. And for some reason, I guess, I don't know, India has probably got some hardcore freaking security because that hotel security has fucking Uzis kills one of the hotel persons by having sex with them and steals an Uzi and now is searching for her target which is the grandchild or great grandchild of, uh, of, that, of that guy who happens to be a uh, uh, 80s rock idol just, just starting off playing the club scene and, and she's you know pretty attractive and so now she's targeted for elimination by Lady Terminator. And you have the scene in the, in the club, which is like, wait, wait, this is like the scene in the club from the original Terminator. And you get, you, they, they, you know, they escape and they get to the, the police station. And all of a sudden, Lady Terminator drives right into the, 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 the police station, crashes into the guy who's at, the, at the, the main desk, the reception desk, just like... 
the original Terminator. I mean, you get the like the car chase, just like the original Terminator. Basically, the point where she is at a hotel. And she got her eye fucked up. And she's at the sink cutting out her eye so that she can rinse it off in water and put it back in. Literally, that's what she fucking does. She just rinses it off and like little zap effects happen and she puts it back in her eye. And you're like, this is, this is the freaking scene in Terminator. Complete with room service knocking on the door except she doesn't like go, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> no, she lets him in and has sex with him and kills him. Because... <laughs> That's just what this movie is about. I mean, what is going on? There's this story about this cop. He's, I guess he's an American cop. I don't know what he's doing in India, but um, apparently his, his wife died, and now he's feeling bad about it, but now he's, like, trying to save this, this girl, and so that's, like, the sort of forced love thing that's going on, and oh, my God, the dialogue in this movie is just fucking priceless. Holy shit. The, the, I mean, the, I, this whole thing just blows your mind. You're watching it, and you're like, you're watching it as if you're watching a, a slow motion train wreck catastrophe, the Hindenburg bursting into flames, and you're just like, there's, there's no way. There's no way. No way. And then all of a sudden, like, another thing explodes, and you're like, no way. There. There's, no, 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 and you're, and you're like, this is horrible. I, this is this is ghastly, and you're just glued to it because you just you're, you're just trying to put it all together in your mind. Like at, at one point, I'm thinking this has got to be like a parody movie. It has to be a parody, and then you realize to your horror and maybe to your delight that no, these this is serious. This is a serious attempt at cinema. These are people who are actually trying. I mean, this is the this is a movie that Sharknado and Birdemic aspire to be. A movie that is not intentionally what it is, and yet it makes it so. It's just like there's just no way you could make it up. <laughs> oh my goodness! I mean, there's just so much I could say about this movie and it's just one of those things that you just you, you have to watch it you just you have to watch it you've got to watch the movie this is one where you get your friends and a whole bunch of beers and some pizzas and you just have yourself an hour and a half of just just whipping the hell out of this movie I mean they're, they're, so he's from America so I don't know why. He's got friends from America. He's like, I need help. It's like, oh, we're going to get on a plane and get there. And then one of his friends' name is Snake, and he's got an epic mullet. And there you see, he's like, he's like, Snake, get the panzer. And then the next scene, he's like on top of a fucking tank with an M60 machine gun. Just, I'm like, where the hell did they get a freaking tank? And, and, and on, on like like the the, the, the the lady Terminator. I mean, she's, holy shit! So she's she's getting machine guns and she's like shooting up the place. I mean, literally, she's just shooting up everything that moves. And she runs out of ammo in one scene, and she like throws the gun down, and she's like, "Oh, uh, get them!" But toward the end, she starts shooting laser beams out of her fucking eyes, and I'm like. Why didn't you do that from the beginning? Like, when you ran out of ammo, you could have just started shooting laser shit from your eyeballs. I mean, what? Like, I, I mean, you just, I don't know what happened when you were writing the movie. Maybe you were writing it as you were filming it and went, you know what? Um, maybe we should give her laser beam eyeballs. But wait, wait, should we, like, uh, like write that into the rest of the movie? I thought we'd have to do a whole bunch of reshoots, man. Okay, let's just have it. Have it right now. Just have her shoot laser beams in her eyeballs. But I don't, maybe maybe it was like we were never going to get that. And then, like, you know, the guy's rich uncle died and he got a bunch of money. He's like, I got a bunch of money. I can do some special effects. Like, let's do a laser beam eyes. All right. I mean, she's she's driving this car, this, this 70s, 80s car. And there's a helicopter with rocket launchers just blowing shit up. There's like a plane just explodes when it's hit with a rocket. But that car is like invincible. <laughs> that car blows up like a couple times and they're like, yeah, yeah, we got her. And then the car just starts coming out of the flames and you're like, 
What? No. That's not how that works. That's not how it works. Was that a fork? Because maybe I, I gotta invest in the fork company because that's that shit is just so man and some of the dialogue like like some of the someone dies he's like he was my partner for years. <laughs> no. I mean literally I'm 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 looking at at, at the, the the movies the scenes toward the end I'm thinking like my god this is like Kung Fury <laughs> must have watched this film and, and, and based a lot of what was going on on this film because my god I'm thinking like man this is Kung Fury except not on purpose <laughs> oh my goodness it's I mean it's it's just it's it's I'm it's I mean, I'm describing it, but I don't know if you if anyone can actually fathom it until they see it. It's one of those movies that you hear about it, but you don't believe it. You don't. It's like a myth. It's like a legend. And you're you're just like, no, no, no. It's you know, no way. And then you watch it, and you're just like, it 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 does exist. I mean. It would be like, it would be like, just all of a sudden, God shows up in front of you and says, Hey, I've been around all this time. Oh. Hey. Good, good job on the earth. Anyways, uh, just, my goodness, this movie. So, let's get to the scores. Let's get to the scores, because, my God, I could just probably talk forever on this movie. It's just that insane. So, violence and gore, violence and gore, it's a three out of five. Really, there's not a lot of gore, but there is a lot of death and violence. Seriously, that police department shootout started giving me flashbacks of the hospital scene from uh hard boiled <laughs> i mean sure it wasn't it's not as brilliant as hard boiled but my god just the, the the freaking shooting gallery that's going on just just ridiculous i mean like so many people just got shot they, their budget for squibs must have been ridiculous i just just crazy so i'm giving it a three out of five shock value one out of five, honestly, it was going to be a zero, except for all the snake vagina shit that's going on. <laughs> I mean, just, did, did, what, did he just pull that out of her? And like, did that thing just, oh my, other than that, you know, <laughs> nothing really, I mean, nothing scary about this movie. I mean, it's like a supernatural entity, and uh, <laughs> so it's not even a robot. <laughs> So that's kind of like, you know, the, the horror aspect, just in case you guys were curious. But sci-fi can be horror, too. So anyways, um, acting, uh, 0.5 out of 5. 0.5. It's, it's, it's atrocious. The acting is, is just garbage, and I don't know because it's a bad dub or not, but it's, it's not good. It's not good. It's, 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 it's so bad. It's, it's hilarious. Um. Plot, also a 0.5 out of 5. Uh, I mean, you, you're, you just whipped off Terminator, but took away time travel and androids, and you add some sort of mystical curse and thing about, like, the South Sea Queen, and it all hinges on the fact that someone was going to go looking for your sunken city just so happened to be hundreds of years later, and gets snaked in her hoo-ha <laughs> and then everything else just kind of like flows really weird and awkwardly and you're like there's like oh you're that that pendant is what what she's tracking you well they get rid of the pendant and then all of a sudden it's like well how does she still know where the hell you guys are and then yeah it's just just not it's just not good so, um, nudity, nudity, I'm giving it a two out of five. I mean, for, for what it is, there's not a lot of nudity, uh, but we do get some, we do get some titties and, you know, the Lady Terminator, she's pretty beautiful. She's got, she's got a nice, uh, nice set. So I'm not going to complain about that one. No, no, sir. Me. So let's get into that bread and butter now. Enjoyment factor of four out of five. 
Every time this movie, I started to get a feeling like, okay, I, I, this is this is this is ridiculous. I'm gonna I'm gonna start fast forwarding, whatever. Something happens and I just I can't. I guess I gotta just. <laughs> It's it's just enthralling, and at the end of it, I was kind of sad because I just like <laughs> this is an experience. Oh my goodness! So I really had a lot of fun with it and enjoyed it quite a bit because of its horrificness. So I, I mean, I gotta give it a four out of five. But my overall impression, my my critical thought, has to give it a one out of five, and that score is pretty much because I. I could enjoy it, but everything else is just so horrible, so bad, that I can't give it, a, like, I can't even give it an average score. It's, no, one out of five. Uh, that averages out to 1.7 out of five. This movie is truly horrendous. I mean, there's there's this, this great uncle who shows up and says, here's this the dagger that's the only thing to kill, that can kill the, the, the evil reincarnated queen. And she's like, oh, thank you. Well, where are you going, great uncle? I'm going to fight her. Um, uh, maybe you should take the dagger with you? Poof! I don't need the only thing that can defeat her. Puh! And then he goes and goes and gets his ass killed. And gets his ass killed really weird because he's, he's out there and he's all like Zen Buddhist monk, you know. And, and she's shooting him and he's like, full it! Fuck your bullets, whatever. And then she starts shooting him in his dick, and then that kills him, and he's all just. And the guy's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, his dick. He blew off his dick. Oh my god. That was his weakness. That's his kryptonite. That's Superman's kryptonite. Is his dick. I tell you what, I wouldn't do too well if someone blew with my dick off. So I just, I'm just saying. Holy shit, this movie. Okay, well. I've got to stop talking about it, but if you have a chance, you got to find it somewhere online, somewhere. I mean, there is like a Blu-ray remastered special edition of this movie. I would totally snag it up. However, I'm surprised that these people weren't sued to oblivion by the makers of The Terminator because of the blatant ripoff, like stealing literal scenes from the movie. I don't know, but... Anyways, I, 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 gotta, I gotta stop myself because otherwise it's just gonna, I'm just gonna be talking about this all freaking night and I can't do that, even though I would love to. But there it is, Lady Terminator. Tell me what you think in the con comments. Have you watched it? Do you agree? Is it a, a beautiful disaster, a dumpster fire that you just can't look away from? Or is it just complete trash and I'm a horrible person? Or even liking it. I don't know. But that's me. So there you have it. Lady Terminator. Holy crap. Holy cow. Like, you know, I've, I've, I've seen movies that were so bad that they were good, but I have not seen a movie that was so epically bad that it was awesome. I mean, I... Just, holy shit. I mean... <laughs> Like other movies try to do this and fail, but this movie just freaking just tripped over its own foot and fell right into awesomeness. I it's just there you go. So until next time, internet, internet, try not to get your dick shot off. <laughs> <laughs>